welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about school subjects as well as the activities we usually do at the particular lessons. So, let's start! During this lesson you will learn about the events and people from the past. We learn interesting stories about ancient times, famous kings and queens, important battles. And one unpleasant thing about the subject you have to memorize all the dates when a particular event happened. So, do you have an idea what it is? Yes, it is history. So, let's continue. During these lessons you have a chance to learn about our planet as well as the other planets. Besides, you can learn about rivers, lakes, mountains, continents, countries and cities from all over the world. To get better idea of these objects, we can use a map and or a globe. No doubt, it's geography. Now we are moving forward. So, to know about nature and all living organisms on our planet, such as plants, animals, people, you should attend certain lessons during which you learn where they live, how they grow, what they do. So, think already. Okay, it's biology. Then, the next one is During this lesson you learn everything about different substances and their smaller parts. You try to get the idea how they will work by mixing one substance with another one. The most exciting fact about it, you have a possibility to do the experiments and observe the interaction between substances. So, I am pretty sure you have already guessed. It is chemistry, right? Now we will talk about extremely important subject. You ask me, why is it so important? So, because we learn about such natural phenomena as light, sound, energy, waves and the other stuff that is all around us. Just imagine for a second, if we hadn't electricity, how our life would look like? Fortunately, we have it thanks to hmm, physics, right? Now, I'm pretty sure some of you guys love this subject. So, during these lessons you learn everything about computers and how to use their programs. The pleasant thing about it is sometimes you can play logic games. So, this is IT, or as we used to say not really long time ago, information technology. Ok, let's continue. During these lessons you learn everything about digits and numbers. You also do some calculations. Basically, there are four operations you can do with numbers. So, we can add numbers, next we can subtract numbers, we can multiply them and we can divide numbers. Yes, it's all about math. Then imagine, if we don't learn how to write correctly without mistakes, if we don't learn anything about grammar, we will be ignorant and uneducated. So, you have language arts in order to learn how to speak and write properly. It could be English lesson to learn English, then it could be German to learn German, or it could be Ukrainian to learn Ukrainian. Then, 
except languages, we usually read books or novels of famous writers as well as we recite poems of popular poets. So, all it happens during literature. So, I'm quite sure you are tired already. For such a case, you can go and do sports. You can run, jump or play your favorite kind of sports game. So, yes, I'm talking about sport lesson or as we have started to use recently, PE, which means physical education. Let's practice the names of school subjects. So, I will show you a picture and you will try to name the subject ahead of me. Ready? So, history, history, geography, geography, biology, biology, chemistry, chemistry, physics, physics, IT, IT, math, math, okay, English, English, German, German, Ukrainian, Ukrainian, literature, literature, PE, PE. Hopefully, you remember the names of school subjects. Now, I have prepared a test for you. So, you will see the names of the subjects and the activities you usually do during the lessons on your screen. So, your task is to match the subject with its description. You can pause the video to go with the task. Are you done? If you want to check your answers, you go to the description box below and voila! So guys, I'm more than happy to teach you the names of school subjects. Hopefully, you will remember them in future. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have liked our today's lesson. Bye-bye!